Welcome Amiga fans, today I'm going to show you how to set up WHD Load. If you're new, you might be wondering, what is WHD Load? Simply, it's a way to package up an Amiga game or demo, which might have originally come on multiple floppy disks. It makes running games more convenient and faster. I'm going to presume that you know a little about Amiga emulation and have Workbench set up on a hard drive already. If you haven't, I'll link to another of my videos at the end of this one to help you out. So I'm going to make a folder called PC Drive and within there we're going to download a couple of things. First off, we're going to go to the WHD Load website, download WHD Load User Small. Next, we're going to go to Aminet and we're going to download SKIC346. Don't worry, I've got this linked down below. And finally, go to whdownload.com, pick a game that you want to play and download it. So with all of those downloaded, go into your PC drive and then create another folder called Kickstarts. And then you'll need to go back one and then go into your Kickstarts folder here that contains your ROMs. I've got Amiga OS 1.2, Amiga OS 1.3, 3.1 A600 and 3.1 A1200. These are from the Kalanto Amiga Forever Pack. Copy them into your PC drive under Kickstarts. And then we're going to rename each one. There we go, with all those renamed, we can now go back to our WinUAE folder. Let's load up WinUAE. Now I'm going to load up a previous configuration that I made called Better Workbench. So we'll click on load and then I'm going to modify this a little bit. So first off, I'm going to call it WHD load. So we make a separate configuration and then under CD and hard drives, we're going to add a directory or archive. So we're going to choose select directory. And then under our WinUAE folder, I'm going to find my PC drive and then click select drive. So the device name is PC0 and the label is just called PC. Click on OK. And then I'm going to make another directory and I'm going to call that DH1 and then the volume name is going to be called games. Select a directory. So we're going to go back one. We're going to go under hard drives and then I've just made a folder called games. Click on OK. So then we've got three hard drives in our setup. So let's go back to configurations, WHD load, and then I'll go click save and then let's start up the configuration. Cool. So we've got our system. We've got our PC folder and we've got games. So to start off, we're going to install WHD load. And to do that, we we'll right click and go workbench execute command. I'm going to type in new shell just to open up a new shell. Type in PC colon. We can list DIR to list all the files that are in there so we can see everything. And then the command we need to run is LHA space X space WHD load underscore user underscore small dot LHA and then space and then type in RAM colon. So this is going to extract that package into our RAM folder. Excellent. With that done, we can now have a look in our RAM disk and we've got a WHD load folder. So double click on that and inside there is an install. Let's start that. Proceed and proceed. C folder is by default. Yes, proceed. Wait for that to finish and proceed on that as well. There we go. The installation is now complete, but there's a few extras that we need to do. Type in LHA space X and then S kick 346.LHA and then again go to the RAM. And then if we have a look in here, we'll see kickstart folders have been added into here. So we need to move this folder into system, then under devs. So I've got my devs folder. I'm going to drag the kickstarts into the devs folder here. OK, 
Okay, I'll need to do show all files again, and there it is. Excellent. Okay, so we need to add more into this, this now. So if I go back to my PC folder, and then under Kickstarts, these were the four Kickstarts that I renamed earlier. I'm going to select all of those, and then copy each one across. Then finally, we've got our game that we want to put in the games folder. So I could type this all out in a long command line, but then there's a lot of text there. I'm going to be a little bit lazy and double click on it. And then it opens up a command line here. If I move all the way to the beginning and type LHA space X, then move all the way to the end, put a space, and then type in the word games, colon, press enter. That's then extracting Secret of Monkey Island to my games hard drive. So there we go. So if we go into games, we've got Secret of Monkey Island, and then we've got a big icon with Secret Monkey Island. If I double click this, it will start the game. And that is how to install WHD Load. Want to watch more Amiga stuff? Then click on the video showing now.